Live long and prosper. Image of Serac. Father of all we now hold true. Mr. Slark, are you all right? Yes, I believe no permanent damage was done. What happened? The occipital area of my head seems to have impacted with the arm of the chair. How close will we come to the nearest Klingon outpost if we continue on our present course? Uh, one parsec, sir. Close enough to smell them. That is illogical, Ensign. Odors cannot travel through the vacuum of space. Okay. I don't know what this is all about. But I want you guys out of here right now, or I call the cops. I assure you that won't be necessary. We're only trying to help. The hell you were, Buster. Your friend was messing up my tanks and messing up my whales. They like you very much, but they are not the hell your whales. I, I suppose they've told you that, huh? The hell they did. Ambassador, the reason for my coming here has never been more clear. The Union, the Balkan, and the Romulan people will not be achieved by politics or by diplomacy. But it will be achieved. If I were human, I believe my response would be, go to hell. If I were human. Father. I am not our father. Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. We are assembled here today to pay final respects to our honored dead. And yet it should be noted that in the midst of our sorrow, this death takes place in the shadow of new life, the sunrise of a new world, a world that our beloved comrade gave his life to protect and nourish. He did not feel this sacrifice a vain or empty one, and we will not debate his profound wisdom at these proceedings. Of my friend, I can only say this. Of all the souls I have encountered in my travels, his was the most human. Others? <laughs>